Hi, this is Helal. In this video on Mathematical Economic Series, we will try to solve a problem on dead weight loss. The question was asked by a brother on Telegram channel. The question is like this. Suppose a tax of $5 per unit is imposed on a good and the tax causes the equilibrium quantity of the good uh, to decrease from 200 to 100 units. Okay. Uh, the tax decreases the consumer surplus uh, by uh, $450 and decreases the producer's uh, surplus also by $300, okay? So, we have to find the dead weight loss from the tax. The options are $250, $500, $750 or $1000, okay? So, first of all, we know that the dead weight loss refers uh, to the loss of economic uh, efficiency. That is when the equilibrium outcome is not achievable that is the cost borne by the society due to the market inefficiency and how do we calculate it first i will draw the diagram so let us draw our demand and supply let us say this is our uh, demand uh, supply curve this is our supply curve okay uh, this is our demand curve okay now, what the question asks us, uh, we are being told that a tax of uh, 5 per unit is imposed, okay? Let us say our uh, equilibrium quantity was, let me draw here, let us say before the imposition of tax, our equilibrium quantity was Q0 or Q dash, or I will write Q dash, okay? So, originally our equilibrium price would have been then, let us say this is P dash, okay? this is the condition before the imposition of tax so we have no economic inefficiency because demand and supply curves intersect with each other okay now uh, with the imposition of tax what will happen to our supply curve let us say this is our s is our supply curve uh, with the imposition of uh, the tax of five dollars the supply curve uh, will shift by the tax amount okay so let us say it shifts uh, to this very uh, line. So okay, with the imposition of tax, let let us say S uh, superscript T denotes the supply curve after the imposition of per unit tax of five dollars. Okay. So what will happen uh, to our price with this? So that means. Uh, first, we will uh, uh, try to see what the, what does this uh, mean. It simply means producers uh, would want to supply less due to the imposition of tax because uh, our supply curve has shifted up. So only this amount of uh, quantity will be supplied by the consumer, uh, sorry, producers. Okay. So let's draw here. So only this let us say this is q only q amount of quantity will be supplied by the suppliers because of the imposition of tax because it shifts our supply curve uh, uh, what we say to the left only this amount of quantity will be supplied by the suppliers okay because of the imposition of tax and what uh, is the what is the uh, what we say what will happen to the consumers so consumers uh, would increase that is the consumers price will increase from p uh, p dash to let us say this is p1 okay so if with the imposition of tax the consumer price will increase from p dash to p1 okay and what will happen uh, to the uh, price that suppliers uh, will receive? So the suppliers uh, will receive only uh, this very amount of price. Let us say this is P2. Okay. This is P2. That means uh, suppliers uh, will, due to the uh, imposition of per unit uh, tax, the suppliers receive only p2 amount of price and consumers uh, have to pay p1 amount of price and the difference between p1 and p2 that is this difference is the tax amount that is 
hour let's go to the question now we are being told that a tax of five dollars has been uh, imposed on a good that this five dollars tax will be shared by both uh, uh, producers and consumers okay so it is five dollars okay the difference between p1 and p2 is five dollars and before the imposition of the uh, what is called the uh, per unit tax our equilibrium was 200 so here q star was 200 and after the imposition of tax it has uh, shifted uh, towards right it has decreased to 100 okay after the imposition of tax the quantity supplied by the suppliers have and decreased from 200 to 100 okay and uh, equilibrium price was before the imposition of tax was this p uh, p dash but after the imposition of per unit tax consumers pay p1 amount of tax or p1 uh, uh, p1 uh, sorry p1 price but producers will only receive p2 amount of price okay now what would be the uh, dead weight loss in this case dead weight loss as i have told you is the uh, it is uh, we can say the cost borne by the society due to market inefficiency if there was no uh, tax imposed we would have uh, produced 200 units of quantity at a p star price but uh, after the imposition of tax our equilibrium has changed okay or equilibrium outcome has not been achieved so this value triangle this value triangle will represent our dead weight loss that is the cost borne by the society due to market inefficiency because we are not at the equilibrium uh, our equilibrium has been distorted by the imposition of per unit tax and our dead weight loss in this case we have to do nothing with the consumer surplus or producer surplus because to cal calculate the producers or consumer surplus we should have the intercept of demand curve and supply curve since that's not here in the question so we have to do nothing with this 450 or 300 it is only to deviate you uh, to make um, problem more complex so that the students get frightened uh, by seeing so many variables okay so actually dead weight loss would be simply dead weight loss would be equal to the area of this very triangle okay what is the area of this triangle let's calculate area of a triangle is we know area of triangle is equal to one half of base into altitude that is perpendicular height what is the base of the triangle base of the triangle is this very line and what is the uh, width of this very line this is five dollars so i will write here this is let me write here this is five first we have one half into base is five dollars and what is the altitude the height the height would be this very amount that is 200 minus 100 which comes out to be 100 okay so this comes out to be 2 ones are 250s are so we get a uh, 250 dollars of dead weight loss okay so actual formula is if you want to calculate dead weight loss is simply equal to dead weight loss is equal to one half of uh let us say this is p2 minus p1 p2 minus p1 that is the price sellers receive minus the price uh, consumers pay uh, into q2 minus q1 okay let's write it uh, like this let us say it is q2 it is q2 here this is q1 okay so and the difference between the price the producers and sell, sellers the producers pay uh, sorry the uh, consumers pay and the sellers receive into the change in the equilibrium quantity okay the change uh, in the equilibrium quantity is from 200 to 100 that is 100 
this is actually the formula for calculating dead weight loss okay i hope i make myself clear let me repeat it one more time what we were being given we were let's try to rub this out okay so that uh, i get more space for you so we were being given a tax of five dollars okay let us say per unit tax tax was five dollars okay uh, five dollars equilibrium quantity was quantity at equilibrium was given us 200 okay after the imposition of tax what is the let us say q subscript t that was 100 okay and we were being told to calculate we were also being given the consumer surplus was 450 450 producer surplus was 300 we don't have to do nothing with these two variables okay so how do how did we solve this very question first we draw the original as uh, demand and supply curve okay so at this uh, at the intersection of supply and demand curve our equilibrium quantity was 200 and the price was p uh, p dash okay since the equilibrium uh, price was not given to us okay after the imposition of the per unit tax of five dollars uh, obviously our supply curve will shift by the tax amount okay when the supply curve shifts that is simply that uh, the producers will produce less amount okay because of the law of the supply okay so producers will only uh produce only 100 units okay and it is also given here after the imposition of tax the equilibrium has changed from 200 to 1 so only 100 units of quantity will be produced by the producers okay but what will happen to our equilibrium uh, equilibrium uh, uh, price the price that the consumers will pay will increase uh, to p1 and the price that the sellers will receive will uh decrease by p2 and this p1 minus p2 is actually our tax rate okay this is our tax rate of five dollars which was given to us and what is the dead weight loss dead weight loss uh, as i told you is the situation when the equilibrium outcome is not uh, achievable our equilibrium outcome was this very thing when the demand and supply curves have intersected with each other but when uh, when the imposition of per unit tax uh, there is no equilibrium at all and the dead weight loss is the loss borne by the society due to the uh, due to the market inefficiency and it is the area of this very triangle okay i hope i make myself clear in this video thank you